Hey guys, it's me, John Robot Gold, whichever you prefer. I'm back at it with more Friendcraft. So, uh, Wes or Charlie Coldball dropped me, uh, dropped by and gave me some stuff for helping him get started. Um, it was just a simple, uh, bucket, some buckets, uh, a bow, arrows, some iron too. Anyway, later I captured a pig, a uh, zombie pigman, and I named him Jeffrey and told people not to kill him. Again later, uh, I met up with Wes, and he had two dogs, and I was like, bruh, where'd you get dogs? And he just told me in the forest. Anyway, I went back home, and it turned out he decided to prank me, sort of, just, he called me Trish, and he also said wrecked I dad -fa. later I helped him out with a skeleton farm that he's been working on, uh, it was pretty cool, and his dogs went crazy, they wanted to kill him. Uh, skipping ahead, I I um, found out that Jeffrey despawned, so I was really sad about that. <laughs> but later, uh, Wes decided to show me a, a water glitch that he found. It was not working. Every time he tried to do it, it was like, it was just regular water. <laughs> And for some reason, when he did it before, it was just like invisible water for me, I guess. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. And then he stormed off really angrily. Anyway, I went to his skeleton farm to get some XP. And it turned out he had done something that made it harder for me to get any XP. So, I'll let you guys see that. Yeah, so he removed some of the barriers keeping you safe from the skeletons. So that they won't, like, see you. And I thought that was a little bit weird. Look at that. They could see you as soon as you get down if there's a bunch of them. So I fixed that up for him. I don't think he even noticed that it happened. I also, funny thing, while I was editing it, I guess I made it happen twice. So you're going to watch it twice now. You're welcome. So, I tend to lean towards the crossbow side when it comes to ranged combat. And you'll see why I'm talking about this in like 30 seconds. Um, I just find them easier to use. And I like how you can stock it up and have it like working and then be able to like later shoot it and be really quick about it and you could get a quick shot off now the reason why I'm talking about this is because I decided to make a crossbow yeah look at that I'm looking for my sticks and my iron I don't think I knew that I needed iron yet though
later, I decided to show off the cow farm and how it was going on. Um, there are a lot of cows, and they are really loud. So yeah. Uh, later, I decided to get some sand because I was going to build a kelp farm from those eight kelp that we got uh, last episode while looking for the swamp. Um, and I'll let you guys see what happens there. So I yoinked the glass and I decided to uh, put it in a chest for some reason. It's weird. Oh right, I was gonna head to the Nether and get some uh, Nether quartz, but I'm not showing that because that was a very uncomfortable time. I just went and got Nether quartz. It wasn't very cool. I found a uh, wandering trader with a Jerry inside of it, like a, a Jerry trade. So I grabbed Jerry, and I was really happy, happy, happy that I found uh, Jerry. I guess the wandering trader went trader went into the ravine and found my puffer fish on the ground, just laying there, almost lifeless, and picked it up and. You know, took care of it, so I bought him back. And yeah, pretty cool. So after that, I finished, or so I thought, the kelp farm and showed it off. I also saw on the way back to my house a little bit later a wandering trader with a slime trade, which was really cool. And I needed that for a prank to play on Lemon, I think. One of the, one of the um, three, the three things, whatever. Which one of them was called? And I think it was the same wandering trader that had Jerry. But this one had but he also had slime. I didn't notice that, so So um yeah. Kinda sad that we didn't I can't get any slime from him now. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> so I decided to stalk Lemon because she stole all of the things from the village that I found the first episode. <laughs> so I decided to be a little bit creepy. She didn't see me though, so it wasn't very creepy, which was the plan. But it didn't work out that way. So I was sad. Um, later I fixed the kelp farm. I don't remember exactly what was wrong with it, but... Wait, no, I do. The repeaters in the back were facing the wrong way, so they were doing, um, they weren't sending a redstone signal. Wait, no. The redstone signal wasn't long enough for some of them, so I put down repeaters, but some of them weren't reaching long enough. 
right here I was just fixing the water, but that doesn't matter. And I think I decided to stop recording when I did the repeaters because it was going to take a while for me to figure out what was going wrong. So yeah. Uh, later, I contemplating sh contemplated shooting Wes in the head for the laughs. It's obvious that I didn't shoot him because you know watching, and I didn't. I didn't shoot because I'm nice. Later, anyway. Uh, I just we. We had a ding dong and ditch war, and uh. Yeah, and I punched him afterwards because he did it to me. And I was gonna do it to him, and I was like, dang, ding dong and ditch me. Yeah. That's the, that's, that's the kind of thing that I, I do in my spare time. Ding dong ditching. It's it's dumb, I know, but sh but sh it doesn't matter. Sh 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 I'm kidding. Um, not really though. What am I doing? What? <laughs> the llama must have almost gone into the nether. It's still dumb that I decided to sit on it. Um. Uh, later. Wes, Big Tree, and I made a secret alliance because some of the people on the server were advancing like too fast. Like they were already full diamond enchanted armor by day three. Uh, I mean, today has been four days since that happened. And they're already talking about going and fighting the end. Uh, fighting the ender dragon. It's like, bruh. Please don't. We didn't want it to be like insanely fast. It's not like we wanted to, this to be the series to be done as soon as it started. It's kind of dumb. Um. Uh, so I decided to build us a secret base, a volcano base, uh, right behind, right out, uh, behind a. Uh, Wes's house, so that's what's on the screen right now. Um, and it took a while, so I decided I'd skip most of it. I'd show like t tiny bits where it was like important, but um, anyway, later we going two village idiots from um, from a village, um. I'll sh and we named them Chad and Linda. I'll show you why we need them later. Skipping ahead, I, uh, I accidentally started a raid at the Lemon's house, Lemon, uh, Lemon and Lime's house, and, uh, <laughs> I told, um, my companion on the server at the time that we, sh we could just, like, wait it out and it would despawn. Of course, he didn't listen to me, so I lost all of my XP levels because of a Ravenger, a Ravenger, Ravager at, um, at the second wave, and I was like, bruh, why did you do that? I told you we could have just had it over with. It would have been done if we hadn't done anything. 
he didn't care and didn't answer when I said that, so it was kind of dumb. And this is the exact point I got really mad at him. Later, I gave Big Tree some gravel because he's been needing gravel for his um, skyscraper, which I don't think he's going to be working on anymore since we're in war time. And then construction probably isn't the best time to do. Uh, construction isn't the best, I guess, in war time. Uh. Uh, later I decided to show off the cows, so you'll see how they are right now. Look at that. There were so many cows, they were so loud. Anyway, uh, skipping ahead, I decided to show you guys the volcano. It's not done, but it is looking closer to what I wanted it to look like. I mean, it's not great, but it's it's okay. Uh, then I decided to look in Lime and Lemon's house, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. I decided I'd yoink a mending book by trading from, uh, from their villager. And that should be appearing, like, right now. Um... Yeah, I traded with their villager, and I got that. It was pretty cool. Anyway, I had I headed back home, and I decided that I put um the mending book on my pickaxe because my pickaxe has fortune three, and I didn't want it breaking. So, yeah, I thought that was a good idea. And I think I, I, I think I chose wisely. You know. Uh, later, I decided I'd look for some diamonds in the in the mine. Um, and I was show I found while showing you guys what I had done in there some diamonds and I was like wow I was just mining there and I didn't see anything so yeah I, I thought that that was cool and I found some diamondes uh so yeah yeah I got diamonds it's pretty cool uh okay 
just gonna zoom through this a little bit. Because nobody wants to be bored. Anyway, I found more diamonds while doing the same thing in the strip mine. So, yeah, that was, that was nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was... It was cool. I got, I think, a total of like 30 diamonds from that mining trip with a fortune pick anyway. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, it may have been back a little bit. Right here. Yeah. Hello? There. Okay. Yeah, 29 diamonds. Twenty-nine diamonds. Where's that thirty-seven? I think that's at thirty-seven. Sweet. Look at that. Um later I captured a pillager. That took a while for me to do. I mean it took a while, so I'll let you guys watch that while I go do something else. Sadly, he had uh, despawned, so I didn't. I lost him. He also turned invisible, which was weird. Like this is the point where he turned invisible. It's super strange. Um. Yeah, I was hoping to name him Jeffrey because of the piglin that we lost, but for some reason. 
Yeah, this is the weirdest part. I died from an invisible creature. Which, you know, is um, not a small feat. Not a small feat at all. Uh, I think, yeah, he's about to despawn. I went to go grab a name tag for him, and he despawned. It was really sad. But third time's the charm, I guess. Uh, I captured one last, uh, one last pillager, and I got Jeffrey. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll show you how I got him into the volcano or not. I don't think I am though. Yeah, I don't think I am. Um, maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. I don't know what's really going on at the moment. Uh, armory, arms. What's going on? What's up? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? That's that's really weird. I have no idea what I'm looking for. What the heck am I looking for? That is silly. Okay. Okay, um skipping ahead, I looked at I got a resource pack and everything looked so much better. I mean look at this. It looks awesome. Uh, it's a medieval theme, and I thought since we're doing medieval warfare type things now, uh, that would be a cool thing to have. Uh, so I decided that I'd go check up on Chad and Linda, and it looked like peop somebody was there, which was really weird because only some of us knew about him. And somebody stole the villagers. Somebody stole Chad and Linda. I also waterlogged my chest so they couldn't blow up. But somebody stole my villagers. Our villagers. Uh, which is really sad. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for today, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, give me some love and hit that like and subscribe button. And hit the little, uh, ding the little bell to never miss another video. Anyway, guys, I'll... See you in the next one. Bye.